So yeah, about to take this bad boy out. Happy death day. So yeah, about to take this bad boy out. Happy death day. Wait. I've done this before. Okay, so you take a little bit of this movie, then add a little bit of this movie. What do you get? That's right. Happy Death Day. Surprisingly entertaining little horror flick directed by Christopher Landon is primarily held together by the performance of the lead actress in this one, Jessica Roth. She is absolutely phenomenal in this role. She goes from the beginning of the film where she's like queen bitch, you know, blonde sorority girl, completely horrible to everyone that she knows, uh, nasty piece of work. And through the arc of this film, towards the end, she basically becomes Sigourney Weaver from Aliens. And it is quite a testament to her performance as Tree. Who the hell names their kid Tree anyway? I mean, what the hell? Grounds this film amazingly well. So the standout performance from Jessica Roth makes this something special. But it's a tried and true formula. We know the Groundhog Day movie with Bill Murray where every day repeats until he learns his life lesson and then wakes up on the next day. With this one, Tree, she is a horrible, horrible character at the beginning of the movie. And she's been stalked and murdered by this stalker wearing a baby mask and kills her in a variety of ways. But she always keeps waking up the very next day to repeat the day and to get killed again in a majority of different ways. Now, one way this movie could have really appealed to the horror crowd is if they had upped the, the gore stakes a little bit. Yeah, this is PG-13. Well, rated M here in Australia. So this movie is not gory in any way, shape or form. There's blood on a knife. Um, and there's a few cuss words. That's about it. So if they had gotten inventive and just had Jessica Roth in all sorts of body casts and horrible, horrible makeup, it could have really made this movie something really, really cool for the Gorehounds. But as it stands, yeah, we got a PG-13 horror film. So it's very light on, on the gore and the scares. But you know what? I had a lot of fun with this one. It was actually really good. The funny writing, the writing this is incredible. Scott Lobdell is the writer and he has done such a witty script in this one. Also, there is a couple one-liners in here that are actually improvised by Jessica. So, full props to her too as a performer. Yeah, she was told totally all over this one. So, is the movie scary? No, not really. It has a few suspense bits in it, like a few tense scenes, but nothing really scary. Um, and the kills are kind of inventive, but yeah, it would have been nice to have, like I said, a little bit more... Um, gory stuff but as it stands yeah it's basically a whodunit and jessica's job tree is as her job every day to try and to discover who is actually behind the mask trying to kill her there's a few red herrings and then the ultimate reveal i thought was a little bit lame but it wasn't enough to kind of distract me from the whole movie in itself it was a it was a fun ride i've definitely seen a lot worse so if i was going to score this one out of 10 i would give it I'd give a, sol a solid 7 out of 10. This is a 7 out of 10 movie. Not too offensive. Not horrible, but definitely entertaining, but nothing groundbreaking. So definitely worth the pickup. Um, I watched this one on Blu-ray. It wasn't on 4K. I've become such a 4K snob. <laughs> Fine, it looked great. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, thank you once again for checking into my channel. Sorry about the opening skit. I know that was really, really lame. Don't forget to subscribe. Throw me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.